Hi, I'm Kate Bonner for the Watercolor Diaries on KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. Over the past year of doing reporting for the show, I have come to believe that Americans are completely obsessed with the process of waking up, the method, the style of alarm clocks, not to mention the whole snooze issue. Well, let me start at the beginning. Back in May of this year, I broadcast a story on an innovative but really annoying alarm clock called the Clocky. If you didn't see my piece, it's the one that looks like a giant dog bone that when you hit the snooze button, it jumps from your nightstand and runs around your room making funny cute sounds along the way. It's kind of like a skittish cat because you have to search around for it in the room in order to turn it off. One of our viewers who watched the piece, she went out and bought the clocky. She said after a week, she wanted to either throw it out the window or put it on eBay. After a barrage of emails the following week, one of my gadget sources told me about the Glow Pillow. I reported this story back in May. Six months later, the Glow Pillow was named one of Time Magazine's Gadgets of the Year. Anyway, the Glow Pillow provides the comforts of a regular pillow, but also features a built-in soft LED light that gently awakens the oh-so-sensitive sleeper by slowly increasing its brightness over 40 minutes, mimicking a perfect sunrise in the Caribbean. Apparently, using the light rather than sound to wake encourages the body to establish a healthy sleep rhythm and makes the day more productive and stress-free. The pillow is charged by induction and is wireless, which allows it to move freely about the bed. The ethos of this gadget? Think gentle, soothing, calming. Three adjectives that would not describe the gadget in my report today. Bim Bam Bananas Puzzle Alarm Clock wakes you up by firing four puzzle pieces up into the air and then hunks incessantly until those four pieces are put back into place on top of the clock. Yes, you must complete a jigsaw puzzle to deactivate the alarm. No cord to cut since it's battery operated. First the clocky, then the glow pillow. After pondering all the different ways people dream up to actually get out of bed in the morning, I thought I'd survey a group of friends who are enjoying dinner at an Italian restaurant in Boca Raton called Mario's. Do you use an alarm clock? Oh, yes I do, yes. And what type? Um, my phone. Really? Yes. Does it, do you ever sleep through it? Um, quite often. I think I've lost complete respect for it. I wake up with the sunshine. <laughs> That's great. So I guess you never sleep through it. Nope. I can't see him. He looks great. like a shadow. Thank you, Steve. If I'm, if I'm sleeping past 8 in the morning, you better check my pulse. Well, my alarm clock is typically my children. Uh, great. They're up at the crack of dawn, and you better be up too, or <laughs> the whole house can destroy. Jimmy's alarm clock situation is completely different. He puts it on this heavy rock station and hits snooze about 5 million times which gets to be really annoying, and I just have to get up and leave the room just to get away from the noise of the whole deal. You know what she did to get back at me? She changed the radio station to a country music station <laughs> so that I had to get out of bed because I was nauseous. I myself, I set my Blackberry and throw it under the covers so when it goes off in the morning, I have to dig around under the covers until I find it to turn it off. And that works for me, but then again, I sleep alone. If you're interested in purchasing the puzzle alarm clock, you'll have to go to Bim Bam Banana's site, bimbambanana.com, and you'll pay $52 for the privilege of waking up to that kind of chaos. Thanks for joining today. I'm Kate Bonner for the Watercolor Diaries on KBTV Online.